So it opened up with uh, Cody coming out, and the fans chanted, Welcome home. And, of course, he wanted Brock to come out right now, accept his challenge for SummerSlam, no Brock. Cody said, Well, I know you like to be uh, fashionably late, so you come out at 9, I'll be here. You come out at 10, I'll be here. Come out at the end of the show, I'm going to be here. Still no Brock. So I thought, wow, I guess they're going to build it up here. But no. Cody then starts going on about the important people that are here, including his mother, Michelle. Starts getting emotional. Started talking about hard times. He said when Brock showed up tonight, it was not going to be hard times for him. It was going to be hard times for Brock. So he's getting ready to leave. They hit Brock's music, no Brock. He keeps going. They hit the music again, no Brock. And so finally, Cody's mad. He storms backstage. You see him go behind. And all of a sudden, you see this chair go flying, and then Cody goes flying. Because Brock is there. And he attacks Cody, and he beats the hell out of him. And he pounds him all over the place with chair shots. And he hoists him up. He gives him the F5 right in front of his mother. Puts him in the Kimura. His mother is screaming, Brock, you suck! He throws Cody in the ring, puts him back in the Kimura again. Let's go and screams, I'll see you at SummerSlam. So they are going to do a stipulation match. We don't know what it is yet. There is uh, more to come in this angle. Uh, it does not appear that he broke Cody's arm again when he put him in that Kimura. But uh, there's still more coming here, and they will have a stip. What that is, we will find out. We had Gunther and Matt Riddle. Wish it would have gone longer. It was great while it lasted. Gunther just pummeled this guy. Riddle fought back. They're going back and forth. Riddle's just kicking the hell out of him. His chest's all beat red. Then Gunther's chopping him. Riddle's chest is all beat red. And finally, Riddle goes for the floating bro. Gunther boots him to death, hits the power bomb, pins him. And then Gunther gets up on the table, and he essentially issues a challenge to Drew McIntyre. If you want to ride my coattails, be my guest, but you will fall victim to the ring at general. We had a Liv and Raquel promo. Liv's asked about their tag match tonight. He says, we're prepared for anything. And we're not backing down from anybody. So Rhea, of course, shows up, gets in Raquel's face. Liv says, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but we ain't scared of you. So Rhea killed Liv. She headbutted her to death, starts brawling with Raquel. Raquel sells it like she's got a knee injury. Judgment Day comes out for a promo. And uh, Dom bows to beat Wesley tomorrow. One of the keys here is Damien goes, I've got the briefcase. I am guaranteed to become a world champion. And Finn shoots him a look, and, and Damien goes, well, you know, you get that first shot. So there's, there's still something going on there. But they insist that they're not going to break up. So then Sammy and Kevin come out, and Sammy says, you know, if these fans hate Dom, they're in luck tonight because we're going to beat Priest and Dom. And so Priest says, well, if you're so confident, why don't you put your tag titles on the line? And so Kevin, Kevin and Sammy agree, tag team title match, main event tonight. Then this next series of deals. Hey, listen, if you liked it, fine. I didn't. Raquel's getting her knee looked at. The doctor goes, well, you know, Raquel, you're cleared. But you really should get some scans. She goes, I'm not getting scans. I'm wrestling tonight. And Pierce says, well... If the doc says you're cleared, let's do it. I'm like, if she needs scans, she probably shouldn't be cleared, brother. But I ain't a doctor. So it's Raquel and Liv versus Chelsea and Sonya. And I knew the story they were trying to tell. I don't care what you tell me. I got two eyes. And what happened here was Raquel made a hot tag, barely limping, ran wild on everybody, beat up both women by herself, tags in Liv, Liv ends up, uh, you know, she's making a comeback. Raquel gets yanked off the apron, gets taken out from behind, like a chop block or whatever. Liv's alone in the ring. She gets double teamed and pinned. That is exactly what happened. If you're telling me that's every tag team match, you're correct. That is exactly what happened. They try to tell us a story about how Liv was double teamed. Raquel had been injured, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Didn't happen. Okay, They took out Raquel like they take out anyone in any match. The beating had nothing to do with any of this. Liv was just beaten and pinned. Sonya and Chelsea are the champions. And then Byron goes to interview him, and he goes, Seems you guys had a two-on-one advantage. And they're like, that's not what happened. We beat them, and we're going to run this division, which is true. 
So uh, this was not announced on the show, but obviously it is going to be Rhea Ripley versus Liv next week on Raw. And uh, Liv is going to get killed. And then it is Rhea Ripley versus Raquel for the title at SummerSlam. So that is the uh, that's where they're going with these stories. We had a great segment with Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. They had a back and forth, and man, these two were great. And the story is that Finn Balor is now absolutely obsessed with beating, not just beating Seth for the title, but doing to Seth what Seth did to him in 2016. He wants to beat him. He wants to win the title. He wants to laugh in his face, and he wants to put him out of action for a year and take a year off of his career. And Seth is like, dude, you're obsessed with this. Like, you got to get over this obsession. And Finn's like, I'm not living in the past. I'm going to do to you what you did to me. And Seth said, this this belt is bigger than your personal vendetta. And you know what? If you've got a problem with me, if you have a vendetta, we don't need to do a title match. We can do this right now. And so Finn smiles and he goes, all right. But he goes to leave. And so Seth is apologizing for the people that are trying to interview him. And Finn returns and throws a chair at his head, absolutely beats the hell out of him, and says, make that match. So it is Finn versus Seth Rollins again at SummerSlam for the title. And man, this is my company. Finn's winning that title. This is the best Finn Balor in years. And if Finn wins the title, you have the easiest storyline where he is the champion. And of course, Damian Priest has the briefcase. Damian Priest has insisted he's not going to cash in on Finn. Finn don't believe him. He don't trust this guy. This is easy storytelling. And Seth can always win that title back later. We had the Alpha Academy and the Viking Raiders in a Viking Rules match. This match was so much fun. And it started out, you know, they got the Viking ship and the whatever. And I'm like, okay, it's just a, you know, garbage match, hitting each other with shields, whatever. But man, as this thing got going... They got in the ring, and they just started doing a match. And, of course, the thing is, Chad Gable is awesome. Uh, Otis is a big, monstrously strong man. And the Viking Raiders are huge dudes. And so these huge dudes are just, you know, Otis is grabbing these guys, and he's lifting them and holding them like they're nothing, and then just freaking tossing them overhead. Chad's doing moonsaults on these guys. It was so great. And Otis makes this amazing one-man comeback. He's throwing these guys all over. And he hits the caterpillar. He goes up top. Valhalla clobbers him. Raiders grab him. They walk him halfway across the ring. And they powerbomb this dude almost through the ring. And they pin him. This was great. A great little match. So then we had Shayna and Nikki. Shayna chokes her out immediately. And then Ronda appears in the crowd. And, you know, this Ronda... You know, she's weird. I don't know if you know this or not, but like, she's weird. And she cuts this long, I mean, she has a thousand words that she speed talks through in about 30 seconds. And the gist of it is Shayna is nothing but a low level ripoff of her. And that, yeah, Shayna may have paid pro wrestling dues, but she paid real world dues and then was thrown in here with no training and had to sink or swim. And then Shayna's response is, You're just mad because. You know, I'm a better runner, Rousey, than you are. And so she says, why don't you come down here? We'll settle this. Ronda says, that's not happening unless you want to make me. So Shayna starts heading through the crowd. She's going up to face Ronda. Ronda grabs a mic and says, you know what? I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to get you booked at SummerSlam, something you were never able to do, and I'll see you in Motor City. So if you listen to Observer Radio last night, here's a scoop for you. Dave goes, wasn't Rhonda the babyface last week and she was the heel the week prior? And then this week she's like, what's going on here? Well, this is not an opinion. This is based on the internal, like WWE has a thing that they have and everyone's name and it's whatever their heel or babyface or whatever. Officially. Ronda Rousey is a heel. And Shayna Baszler is also a heel. 
So if you have not been able to figure out this storyline, well, the answer is they're both supposed to be heels. And I guess whatever they say, whoever comes out on top, I guess that's whatever. But it is a heel feud. It is heel versus heel. And uh, that's that's what's going on here. So there you go. Rick shaded a promo. He wants to face off next week with uh, Logan Paul. Hurt his ego. Miz TV with Becky Lynch. This was also a good segment. So, you know, Miz, Miz is all happy because he won one match in all of 2023. He says, I'm a winner, and man, Becky, you've just been losing. Have you lost a step? And Becky almost kills this guy. And she says, I've lost a lot of things this year. I have not lost a step. So why don't, I know what you're going to do. You're going to have Trish come out. Once you bring him out right now, let's just get it over with. So out comes Trish and Zoe. And uh, Trish's whole deal is, I already beat you. You couldn't even beat Zoe. You ain't getting another match. It's not happening. We're done with you. And, of course, Becky wants this match, calls her a self-centered psychopath, buries her, says, if you want to prove you're the best, let's do this one-on-one, me and you. And finally, Trish says, all right, I'll fight you, but a few conditions. You have to go through Zoe first because you can't beat her. If she beats you, you must get on your knees and you must say thank you, Trish. And not only that, if Zoe beats you, you must get thank you, Trish, tattooed on your chest. Becky accepts all of these stipulations, and that is the match for next week. Bronson Reed and Shinsuke Nakamura. Last week, Bronson interfered and cost, uh, cost Ciampa the match with Miz, which, man, I'd be mad too. So this week, uh, Ciampa showed up, and he attacked uh, Bronson Reed for the DQ. And so the match was really good. The finish was terrible. But at the end of the day, the gist of it is that um, why can't I do this right here? I hate these things sometimes, I'm trying to do this or whatever. But anyway, uh, Nakamura ends up losing via DQ. So now Nakamura is furious, and uh, he cut a promo afterwards. Why is everyone always getting involved in my business? It looks like Shinsuke Nakamura probably on his way to a heel turn. Then the main event was Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn versus Dominic and Damian Priest for the tag team titles. Seth Rollins flies in, attacks Finn Balor for the match. They brawl backstage and they're not involved. This match went about 20 minutes. It was great. The last five minutes of this match, this place is just going crazy. And dude, it's Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens and Damian Priest is great and Dominic's got heat. And Rhea jumped up on the apron at one point, so Liv runs down. They brawl backstage. That sets up the match for next week. And then Sammy hits Dom with the Exploder in the corner. Kevin hits the stunner on Priest. Sammy hits the kick on Dom. They get the pin, retain the tag team titles. Excellent main event. And uh, title reign continues. And where does this leave Dom going in NXT tonight? In his North American Championship match with Wesley. Is he winning? Find out tonight. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.